Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my tiny little shop space here. Um, today, I'm going to be rebuilding the spindle on my little carbide mill, um, the Nomad. One of the bearings is kaput in it completely and I can't get it out so we're going to just remake it from scratch. So let's do that. As you can see I've already dismantled the mill or the spindle on the mill. Um, this was the existing spindle here and I pulled it out. This bearing is totally seized up. I can't really get it to spin. This one spins okay, but definitely not as freely as a bearing should be. So one of the issues of that bearing not spinning is on the um, actual tool arbor here. And you can see it's wore a nice little groove in there and I can actually, you know, I don't know if you can see it, but I can, I can feel that groove there. So I know that that's going to definitely cause a tool wobble down here at the bottom and that's actually how I detected this issue was I was noticing I wasn't just holding quite as good of tolerances as I usually do. Unfortunately I, I can't get either one of these out. Um, I tried heating this thing up and using like a, a slide hammer to try and pull this thing out and it, they're just not going to budge. So here's the new spindle with a sweet hole drilled in it. And uh, obviously it's going to need some work on the lathe, so let's get to it. All right, the first step is done. Got this down to 1.25 inches, plus or minus half a thou. Let's see if it fits, and it does. And there's no play. Perfect. All right, step one, done. Alright, so an unfortunate thing has happened. It's not the end of the world though. Press fit in this front one fine. And then I realized that this back one, I've overboard it just a smidgen. Um, so just a little bit ago I measured what I actually boarded out to. Um, I think the way my calipers was set up, I was just a little wrong when I was measuring it for the final bore. My bad. When I pulled out my precision calipers, um, this is point six six eight thou and I needed it to be like point six six or point eight six six um on the bright side that's an even number of overboring <laughs> um and I already tried this so I know it's going to work so there's just the slightest movement up on this top bearing there just because it's not fully seated in there since I've got four thou to spare I can get two two thousandths thick shims on either side of this bearing mostly around it which should in theory hold it in place um, and will be within specs so uh, let's let's do that here's what a two thousandths thick shim looks like by the way um very thin and i can just kind of work it into the gap there. See, so the idea is I can do one on each side. I'm probably going to use the thicker side just because I want more surface area around that bearing covered.
I'm putting the shaft collar on. Um, it's not part of the original nomad. I just want a little extra help other than just these two set of screws holding this whole assembly together. That's my tripod, so we'll do this by hand. Um, that concludes this video. Uh, got it all up and running now. Cut some metal with it, and it cuts really good. It is actually running quieter than the previous spindle did, uh, which is great. So, anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.